Hello friends, myself Ishan here and in this chapter we are going to learn what is IBM I, who is a provider of IBM I and how and which emulator is used to access the IBM I system and how we can install and access the IBM I system. So I have prepared some document first so we can go through with the document and then we can see that how we can see with the in with the links that how we can access those okay so as i can scroll down so what we can see the service provider so we can see the site pub400.com is the service provider for the ibm i system so this is a free one so we can use them so you just need to on the url of the web browser you have to just write pub400.com and then you can know the documentation, what they have mentioned, what is right and wrong. So you can learn there and understand what you have to do there. So, and and after that, once you, before uh, you need to access, you have to sign up here. So this is a sign up page here. So you have to sign up like your first name, last name, email address, email, uh, IBM I username. So this is a username which will be used as a user ID for you. So once you are done, you will submit here and then they will send you an email for verification first. And once you verify the email, they will send you an email, another email with your user ID and the default password. So this is something what you have to do first for getting the credentials for the IBMI system. Now, how you are going to access your IBM I system? So there are many emulators in, in which are used for uh, accessing the IBM I system. So here we can use TN5250 for Windows 7 as I have Windows 7 or if even you have Mac or something. So you can use this emulator for accessing. This is a trial version. So and if you have 30 days trial here, and once the trial is over, if you like, you can buy it for further. So for the learning purpose, 30 days are enough, I think, on IBM. So I, so I think this is a uh, good software to use for the system. Now in the third step, what we are going to do, we are going to install the install that emulator in our system. So I have already installed. So you can see here the screenshot. First screenshot is the the which is saying that we have a 30 day trial but out of that five days are over and i have enough 25 days only so and here this is a screen when you're going to uh, connect to the pub400.com so and this is the last screen once you connected so this is a screen which will come to the on your pc so this is a login screen with username and default password that will come to your mail and you have to change the password for to the first time logging so that is very important and critical that you need to be understand now what we are doing we we can go to the links what i have gone through this content so what i will do here this is the site you can see this is pub 400.com so you can you can read them so this is something the free uh, service provider so for the testing or some purpose you can use you can also buy if you are doing some business so you can go this site and you can use it and you can you can use here the sign up now what i have said in the content that this is a sign up page here so once you have sign up here it's opening so once you sign up here then uh, you will have to verify once it get verified then you will be have a credentials for it so this is something taking uh, this is a this is a page once you have submit and they will give you and they have they have written all the request new user profiles what the steps you have to follow right so you this is not very tough to understand now second one what i talk about is the tn5250 terminal so this is the terminal emulation what I have installed in my system so 
I want to just show you the site. You can you can use this link for the site you want to go through, and uh, you can install here. So this is a site. So you can install user guide, and this is a buy now. If you want to buy, but I think first I think you prefer for 30 days, and based on our experience, you can use it. So this is it. Now I go through then the third point, which was there that once you have all these the emulator and you have the access ID, now you have to use it. So we are going to the emulator. So this is something the first screen when you install the screen will come that emulation days. So nothing you have to do, you have to just continue. Now here what you have to do, you have to edit for new session and you have to give the name and this is the IP address of the server so you can connect here and you can give the port number 23 and this is terminal size this okay now you are going to connect so this is a screen you can see is coming so now what the credential which you have gone in the email you can give here for example I am giving my user ID my user ID is uh, Okay, so giving error. So now we are logging here. So this is the first step to access to learn how to install which emulator to use and which is the service provider, free service provider for the ICD system. So from the next sessions, we will start learning what are the PF, what are the LF, what are the RPG programs, what are objects. So, so we will start learning the next session. For now, I am uh, closing this session. So thank you for looking into it. Thank you very much. Bye.